Hi, I'm Fajar Purnama and finally on this third part of the video I will demonstrate how my script works and I will not explain any details only how to run it like that and I only run it on the, the simple way for more detail I will make a further video but for now only just to get it running so the first thing is to of course download all of my script you can download it manually as a zip or you can just use git and I download them to the HTML to the web server directory uh, clone then to continue on this is the readme you can read over here and this is the general method that I showed you in the first video and the dependencies you need to install rdiff and duplicity and maybe on the what you call it on send OS or on Red Hat you probably need to use an librsync and don't forget PHP curl, PHP and stuff but now okay install our diff fortunately they already installed on my machine but probably not on yours if it's the first time and then once is to get the script on the, my web server then is to give an ownership of the directory to the web server for the user and the group for example chase change ownership min r w w min data to the directory so I'm already a root though. if you're not a root then you do need to do a sudo but I'm already a root here okay yes to make sure I'll just be as a root okay then you can go to the manual process which is a uh, or you can do the Moodle process for this video I will go through the Moodle process if you're able to do this then you should be able to do the manual process which is a bit easier so after that is unfortunately for my script to be connected to the Moodle learning management system I have to use this way but if you but if this step is unnecessary once Moodle plugin it when this is already a Moodle plugin or just tell me you have another way but for back then this is a one way that I can do so I have to create a directory of this one ah it's already done for me so I'll just copy this and this and I need to give the ownership of the user and the group to the web server paste mm, ok then open my Moodle directory which is on local host ok this one is already set and then choose Moodle and then this one after this go to settings and give the directory location which is uh, I give an ex I gave an example here and the address of the uh, the address of the of the Moodle on this server and not like this I remember it was like this and then I 
for some reason it worked well when I remove the HTTP and then change and then return and then go to settings so sorry about that um, it were it shows like that because um, it's not so synchronous so the PHP cannot give a direct result uh, the result directly so I can give I can fix this uh, bug by changing the script using a JavaScript or something asynchronous like Ajax or but well, JavaScript is enough but for now this works so sorry I have to return the button first I will change on the readme oh no I already did put on the readme or did I? if it doesn't work try the return button and go back to settings so that's what I did so change change and there is a generate close course list okay mm. okay so that's it so generate close list and I have uh, two course this one and this one and so of this one this is the taking the first step now the list is successfully generated and this is the folder of the created course list is on this one don't forget no 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 you can forget but that is the information if you really want to know okay after that ah, after choosing menu there will be button to generate okay I'm using this one I already set it for you so on this okay then return and then you can choose one of the courses choose and woo is already okay so the thing is um, let me guess it's uploaded here ah see it's still here so let me delete this mm, okay so I cannot delete this so well so let me do it from the beginning okay let me delete that folder So if you really want to test, I already have a sample for for you there. But for now, I want to delete it to start over again. See if it really works. Okay, go to settings again. Oh no no, sorry, return. Go back to the main console and choose Moodle, and then go to settings, and then do this once more. Generate cost list. Okay return and then I choose this one and you should have an empty stuff like this since this is on the master and on the slave side eh, maybe I need to open this presentation for you just in case oh okay aha uh -huh, this one so now we're on the master side so on the if you're on the master side you don't need to configure anything for the settings if you you can insert a backup file manually from here for example you can insert uh, this one like I did before let me you can for example upload this one manually and it's uh, done and you can delete this sorry this one I, I'm still using PHP here if I use JavaScript it can be um, 
the deletion process can be shown immediately but it doesn't I will improve this script of mine and so you can as I let's go back to the topic we can do that or you can use this CLI backup button that I prepared that it will do the backup manually of this course that we have chosen and just now I get I got a few JavaScript and this is the performing backup right into this place and this is the course name and I automatically change the course backup file into a backup.mbz mbz file here you can change to byte, kilobyte or megabyte if you want to take a look and that's it okay on the, on the next step if this is a master server click the master button and it will generate a special script for the master and let it be given to the slave server okay then even anyway if this is truly the master the master side you absolutely must uh, press this button now give this URL to the to the slave side or to the client side uh, client side which one yeah, this side client side which I will continue on the next video and so and on the other hand what this master did is um, it created uh, this file which is needed for the master side which will do the cut um, this one um, creating the delta from the new file in the signature and basically that's what you have to do for this master side and now in the next video we're going to move on to the slave side or the client side